Uh oh. That's a policeman officer. Hold it right there! Yoikis! <laughs> I love that. that. <laughs> Hello! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Seth Basic and welcome back to the Lion Song. So today we're going to be starting off the last. Whoops. <laughs> Let's try that again. Three, two, one. Oh, for Christ's sake. Three, two, one. Hello! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Steps Basic, and welcome back to the Lion Song. So, today we're going to be starting with the last chapter of it, so it should be a little bit quicker. But again, if it turns out to be two hours worth of recording, it's going to be two episodes again. But if not, then yay. <laughs> Wiener Nistat train station. Weiner? Weiner. Eh, whatever. Oh, am I me? Oh, I'm, I'm playing now. Hello, conductor. Given that the train has stopped just for me... The dispatcher seems awfully calm that I'm not boarding. Wiener Nutstadt. I've been here for so long, and I'm leaving again already. Outends. The Schneeberg. Father owns a large hut up there. Weird. The Schneebergs. Board train. Chooky, 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 chooky. It's time. It is time. <whistles> Whistleblow. What was my compartment again? Where's the blasted ticket? What compartment did it say? The... Was it nine? I don't know. Well, how do I check my ticket? I must be in the wrong car. Okay. Well, how do I move? Okay. Now I can move. Uh, good day, uh... Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that, buddy. Hello, passenger. He seems quite engrossed in that book. Switch again. Oop. I'm not in the mood for conversation anyway. I just want to find the right compartment. Okay, so let's keep moving. We're going to find our compartment. What did you say, nine? Well, there's five. There's six. To the next wagon. Oh, wait a minute. My ticket at last. And it's a six, not a nine. That's the right compartment. Cool. A little, 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 little wrong, little buddy. Hey, he's the drunk guy. I remember him. Is this seat taken? How about you going? All the way to the end of the line. Aren't we all? I don't know. Good lord. It's it, him. The lion song. Closure. Hey. Oh, ouch! My head. I think one of my bags fell down and hit somebody in the head. Well, the drunk guy's awake. Oh, you dropped all your stuff, dude. I believe this is yours. Thank you. Uh, I think this book fell out of your luggage. Well, thanks. Venus and first. Yours? Thank you. Did I have to really pick them all four up by individual? A photograph of a few students. Hey, is that Emma Mew? Oh, huh. he must have dropped it. Your photograph? Oh, yes. Hey. Drunk dude, sitting there being all drunk and stuff. Student, gentleman, farm boy. Excuse me. Yeah? What brings you to the train today? Me? Oh, my family. Sending them money. That's very noble of you. I'll finally be able to help support them. One second. Uh, this one. Oh, no, 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 no. Put that back. No, no. Put this down here. Not too bad. I did it. Ah. Anyway, where were we? Um, hello, gentlemen. Excuse me. Oh, now I'm covering up the words. God darn it. Traveling far. Oop. Traveling far. What do you think? I'm headed south for vacation. Ah. Any news? No front page. Only local news. Anything about Vienna? Oh, yeah, that's somebody else. New marketers did a great... Uh, Famous professor refocuses research. 
Hey, these are all the people. That's our lady right there from the first game. Gavin, to repeat, success comfort at Music Varen. A concert at Music Varen. Arthur Cabin. An Arthur Cabin musical production? Yes. You know him. I met him once. He came to our village. Okay. Uh, there's an article about an exhibition. Franz Market. The portrait artist. Portrait, art, portrait artist, you call him? How about the genius? The shooting star? His art has so much truth in it. Famous professor refocuses research. A former professor at the mathematics faculty at the University of Vienna. Zala, the mathematician? Um, yes, that's what it says. There you go. You can have your newspaper bag, bud. <coughs> oh, farm boy. Excuse me. Yeah. You play that harmonica or only polish it? Say. I set that part already. Nice. Good job, Mr. Student. Er, farm boy. Excuse me. Uh, what brings you on the train today? Same as you, I bet. Well, I mean, you're not wrong. We're both traveling somewhere. Excuse me. Oh. Who are the people in the photo? Who are the people next to you? Uh, it's Professor Ragnarzak and her class. It was Emma. Ha ha ha. I called it. So smart. Er, a famous woman lecturer in mathematics, mathematics, mathematics at the university. That's me in the front there. She was one of the best lecturers I had at the university. The university has women lecturers? The, women, uh, the university has women lecturers? Her position wasn't official, but Professor Nenner invited her to speak often to his classes. She tutored students well. I had no idea. Professor Eichnesek was funny, too. <laughs> Hilarious, even. I love her jokes. She always managed to make us all her highly complex concepts. And she told great jokes, too. I wonder if he's still drunk. He shouldn't still be drunk right now. Hey, look, here she is. Professor Ragnarsik. About a year ago. That way, the change can be maintained. Forming a new state over time. Knock, 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 knock. Dear all, did you understand that what we heard? You didn't pay attention again, does you? No, I did, uh, but I was far easier to follow Professor Nenner's lessons. Oh, don't pretend. Professor Ragnarsek is an exceptional teacher, even as a substitute. He's just going to be drunk the whole time. I don't care. Ugh. Look, here it's easy. Uh, <laughs> Remember her joke at the start of the lesson? Which one? Oh, what did you get when you caught a mosquito with a mountain climber? Nothing. You can't cross a vector and a scalar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> but how is that supposed to help me to understand? <laughs> Don't know. I just like the joke. Look here. Um, the, uh, uh, the hair. I don't know what the timing is when I draw with my pencil. It makes noise. The destination of the secondary change is the inverse function of the change. What? Um, uh, imagine a dog that really needs to pee. Nice art. I do that myself. What? Just listen for a second, would you? Just listen, just listen, just listen, buddy. The dog pees, and the liquid will be gone. That's genius! I mean, sure. Oh, for crying out loud. I wasn't finished, you blockhead. All oh, right. Go on. And you see, right in the next theory, basically asks the question, can the amount of liquid change, but stay the same? And the question answered by the secondary change, by the secondary change, and the dog drinks water while peeing. The amount of liquid will stay the same, hence forming a new state over time, a reckless state. <laughs> As uh, I think your explanation is all wet. 
You're funny, man. You're funny. I give you higher mathematics, and you give me puns. Why are you being stupid about it? Oh. Well, I'm just here for the jokes. And that is what separates us from other scientists. Sciences. We are looking beyond how something appears. We look for a deeper truth about the world. In everything it is, and everything it could be. That reminds me of a joke. Ooh, that joke. A, theolo a theologian, a physicist, and a mathematician watch three people go into an empty room. After a while, five people exit the room. The theologian exclaims, It's a miracle! The physicist scoffs. Clearly, there's been a measuring error. Finally, the mathematician proclaims, If another two go in, no one would be in the room. <laughs> I don't get it. I feel bad now. I didn't get the joke. <laughs> I confess I don't understand. Maybe not. Right, but she did change a lot at the university. I remember when my cousin wanted to study physics. You had a cousin who wanted to study physics? Weird. Oh, this is you, huh? Many months ago. Now I'll help yourself. I'm here to speak with a member of the radio. Are you indeed? They are a private gathering and are not to be disturbed. Especially by a student. No, no. Same. And I would like to use the lavatory. Is that alright with you? Surely not. I will not be fooled again. Ugh. Although last time you were fooled, they led to a pretty genius, you know, thing. It's very important that I see the radius. Another young man. You are not getting in that room unless you pass a test. I've had some bad experiences in the past. Very well. What is your test? Tell me the names of three members of the radius. I know three names. We got Professor Rauch. Correct. We have Professor Verm. Correct. We got Professor Shell, technically. Incorrect! There is no Professor Shell in the radius. Of course there is. That's who I want to see. There was no one bad that name in the radius. Good day, sir. Wait, wait. Oh. I meant, of course, Professor Rechnizak. How could you forget Miss Eva? I don't know. She is the heart and soul of the radius. I denied her access, and she used the bathroom. Lovely woman. Well, may I enter now? Hmm. No. What? Why that? I passed your test. Well, perhaps. But no. You called Frau and Emma by the wrong name. So you must know, must know her very well. Which means I will not allow you to enter the radius. Please leave now. Ugh. I don't want to be with you anyway, stupid. What's wrong? Can't you find the door? Fan, I won't bother the radius, but I'm hungry and thirsty. I would like a seat. You would not send away a paying customer, would you? <sighs> of course not. Uh. The boss! Could you show this a gentleman to a table? And do keep an eye on him. Sit in there. Follow me, my hair. With rights to speak though, with the Germans. Here we are. Now take a seat, I will be right back. Ha! I don't think so. Now I need to get past him in his radius. Hmm. Cakes. I could order one. Maybe that would distract the waiter. Run, 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 run now. Go, 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 go. Hold this right now! Hello? You are not allowed in there. Dang it. Uh, oh, waiter, excuse me. 
Yes. I would like to order a cake. Certainly, what would you like? A piece of shat, shat, shat art, please. Right away. Go, 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 go. You'll never take me alive. The radius. Finally. The radius, finally. I forgot he's supposed to be drunk. <laughs> I'm so evil. <laughs> Hello, friends. I'm here to be happy at all. Oh, I do believe that is one of my students. Theodore, isn't it? That's right, Professor Agnazak. Well, come on in. What can we do for you? Oh, my God. I stand among the gods of math. Look. Wait, where's Rouch? Or Nenner? Or, wait, you're Rouch. No? Where's Rouch and Nenner? Excuse me, eh? Pro Professor Rauch? Oh, it's because he doesn't have smoke around his head. Is that you? Yes. Oh, but you're not smoking. Have you given it up? No. Nah. I have a cold. I can't seem to shake. Ha. <laughs> huh. I hope you go well soon. Professor Ragnarzak. Theodore, it is good to see you. I apologize for first thing on you like this. What can I help you with? Um, I have a favor to ask of you. I have a favor to ask you. Oh? I have a cousin who wants to study physics at the university. Bravo, why come to me? Maria is a girl. A woman. Almost a woman. Ah. Then I understand all too well. Is she bright? Like the sun at midday. She wants to follow the path of Marie Curie. <gasps> Maria, Marie, Marie, Maria. <gasps> Jeez. Bright and ambitious then. Please tell her to come talk to me. I promise I'll do whatever I can to see. That she is allowed to enroll. 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 It's missing an L. Hey, thank you, Professor. Uh, where is Professor Nana? I... I don't know. He's been missing for a while now. Oh no, that's not good. Where's Nanner? He was our like, he was our one dude in our corner right there. Yes? Sorry. Goodbye. Uh, thank you. I'm out of here. Bye, Professor Bank to Zach. Thanks for your help, buddy. Oh my god, dude, you walk so freaking slow. You're like everybody else. Walk faster. <laughs> Professor Zach to Zach's vault was all it took. Uh, the faculty would crumble and wave their arms as usual. But in the end, the professor almost always prevailed. Maria was allowed to enroll. Again. Again. At least they're consistent. She was an actual professor. And not officially, no. But that's the, the, the students called her. And even some of the faculty members. A remarkable woman. Indeed. I remember when she was leaving the university to write this book. So how many years has it been, did they say? Several months ago. Professor, why must you go to Manchester? Because my students all need so much attention. Where would I find the time to write my book? Well, I, for one, don't want to accept this change. I'll miss you. I will miss you all, too. We need something to remember you by. I would have thought the mark I gave you on, on your last exam would be enough, Richard. <laughs> Poor Richard. Hmm, something to remember, remember by. Oi, picture man. Oh, a photographer. We should take a picture. However, this man is currently talking to the photographer. Oi, man, distraction. Pardon me. Um, excuse me. He doesn't seem to hear me. Pardon me. Hello. I'm not just currently talking to the photographer. I gotta distract the boy. Hello, boy. Hey, morning. Can you and your father move? He's busy. I can see that. But I really need to talk to the gentleman. That's a photographer. Yes. You will have to wait. Just like me. 
Wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. I get it. Ah, can you help me? Hmm. I'm bored. If you give me something to play with, maybe I'll help you. I don't suppose you like vegetables. Eh, no. You can just wait, you know. That's apparently what good boys do. Hmm, I think Lucas has something to, that might entertain the boy. Oh, Lucas? Lucas? Yes? Uh, do you have any little snap bangs? I don't want to cause a riot. There are always police patrolling. Don't worry, I'll be fine. And what do you want it for? Well, uh, it's complicated, but I don't need many. Maybe just five? Alright, but I don't have a lot more after that. Thank you. Be careful with them, alright? Of course. Oh, young boy. I have some toys for you. Hello, boy. Good morning. Hey, I have something for you. What are you? You throw them on the ground, they go... Boosh! <laughs> oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. But you should only throw one at a time. Uh, where did you get that? That's enough. Let's go. Well, we got him away. Did not go as I hoped, but at least no riot. At least now I can talk to the photographer. Oh, photographer man, excuse me. Yes. Could you take a group picture of me and my friends over there? Of course. Just gather everyone together in front of the camera. Okay, let's go. Oh, Professor. Professor, a photographer. Photographer, how about a fixer? Perfect. A secondary change to maintain the state we are in now. It's genius. More math. Oh, my eyes. And there's the picture. I wonder if everything will change now. No, I don't think so. Chuggy, 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 chuggy. 321 kilometers to go. Loud train. Oh, farm boy. Excuse me. Yes? Do you know any other songs? I know one. I could try. I know that piece. The Lion Song. Wilma Del Durfel Durf Durfel composed it. I know it as well. You couldn't walk across the university without hearing someone rehearsing it in the music school or humming it on the way to class. She's my sister. Oh, right. And Mozart's my uncle. I can usually tell when someone's lying to me. I think our friend here speaks the truth. Nonsense. Look at his clothes. A farmer's idea of dressing well. Don't be racist. Excuse me. Yes? Tell us about your sister. A woman didn't always live in Vienna. Uh, she grew up on a farm with Mama, Papa, and I. But one night, that all changed. Tell us. I want to know the story of where Wilma came from. Oh, I'm attached to that head. A few years ago. Well played, Big Thither. We have to hurry, Otto. Papa told us to be home before ten. I'll collect the money. The young one plays so well. Wilma is self-taught. And she writes many of her own songs. What's that you say? She's self-taught? Do you think I'm daft? I suppose elves made her violin. She taught herself to play. And Papa bought her a violin in milk. Oh, oh. Well, here then. Thank you, friend. I'm glad you liked what you heard. Hello, Fatman. They look like they have some Cronin to spare. <laughs> Send your sister over, boy. I have something I'd like to discuss with her. Wilma just plays. I collect the money. If you like the songs, maybe you could spare us some garnets. 
Uh, this is all I want to enjoy. She plays the violin for money. That's all. Now pay up or shut up. Watch your mouth, Twig, or I'll snap you in two. You just try it. Uh, uh oak tree? Sir, my songs are meant to soothe, not sour. I'm sure Otto and my papa and my three uncles would not take kindly to anyone who spoiled the mood. She's right. A fearful lot of awfuls. Don't you want our money? Uh, no, I don't want your dirty money. <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> More to buy beer for me. Doof. We could have used his money, Otto. That's fine. <gasps> Is that Arthur? Oh, no. I don't recognize him. And he looks like he should at least have some coin on him. This is Professor Carbon, and he has an offer for Wilma. What do you want with my sister? Young man, I assure you my intentions are honorable. Oh, wait, he had that, that Kermit the Frog voice. Oh, I am of, uh, I am of, uh, I am Arthur Cabin. Here is my card. As you see, I'm a professor of musical theory from Vienna. All that changed on that episode. It was only by chance that Professor Caban stopped by the inn on his way to Salzburg. He was very impressed with Wilma's songs and told us we, he would try and arrange a scholarship for her at the institute where he taught. It was a dream come true for her, one our parents could not have paid for. Uh, her playing in the inn was helping her family? She must have been thrilled at the opportunity. She must have been thrilled at the opportunity, he says in his own voice. She wasn't, though. Our farm and the village were all she knew. Vienna sounded big and terrifying. Yeah, what, is it? what was it like growing up with a prodigy like Wilma? <laughs> prodigy? Wilma? She was years older than Mozart. Most girls her age were already married. Okay, then. What was it like growing up with your big sister? Well, of course, big sisters are given to younger brothers to tease. She could she could hear music even when none was played. I guess it came from inside of her. She closed she closed her eyes and listened, lost to the world. And naturally, you were respectful of that. Well, no, it was the perfect time to steal her violin and hide it. Oh, children. <laughs> Scandalous little scamp. Several years ago. I'll show them that I can play too. <laughs> All right. It's right there. I just need to wait for the right moment. A sneaky, 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 sneaky. A sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Back here, woman should not be able to see me. <laughs> Careful now. I can hear you, Otto. You hear nothing. Don't you try to steal my violin again. I need to be more careful. Hmm. Wilma won't notice me if I move while she's humming or playing. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Not the chirpy. Careful now. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> Shut up, bird. I can't take it when you're playing it. Yoink. A sticky, sticky, sticky. Otto! Oh, she got me. <laughs> I'm telling you, it wasn't easy. It took skill and daring to steal that violin. <coughs> Where'd you hide it? Oh, someplace out of the way, but safe. I didn't want anything to happen to it. 
Again. Uh, did you take up the harmonica because of your sister? Did you take up the harmonica because of your sister? I guess I did, in a way. My papa gave it to me. I'm not very good at it. At least, not as good as Wilma. There was always music in her. I sense another story. <laughs> you ask a lot of questions. I'm a journalist. Well, at least I was. Now you have a story to tell. There isn't much more to tell. It was after Wilma got her violin. We don't have much. So naturally, I was jealous. It happens. May has come, and trees blossom, and the clouds float in blue skies, and this sing song is sung. Well done. Well done. Many years ago. Both of you. Again, again, again. Play it again. Let's sing again. Again, again, again. <laughs> Wilma, what is it? Did we miss a note? No, you played it as written. We sang it as written. Here we go again. And what is wrong? Can't you hear it, Papa? The passage here. And now clouds flow. Clouds! The notes are boring. But we always sing it like that. I want to sing it the same way. But it's not. But it's boring. No, oh, hold on, both of you. Papa, you need to play better notes. Can't you hear how exciting it could be? Show me. M me? You play, Papa. Don't let her play. Let your sister try, Aru. Hey. It's all right, show us. I like this. That's very good. Hmm. Oh, she jazzed it up. Do you hear that? Dum -dum -dum. <laughs> it's all wrong. Notes don't have to be so well matched. She's a jazz player. Each can have its own life. Uh -huh. Go on, keep playing. Me. We should change what we sing to. Oh? What do you have in mind? I came up with something too. Let's see. Uh, Wilma, my sister is dumb. Otto, you will not sing that. I want to sing about the bug on the back. Flowers have sprung, and the clouds are gone. We are singing with my papa, and bugs have much fun. All right. You can sing that if you want to. No, Wilma. Play. There. Can you play it like this? No, 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 no. You're right. The violin is yours, Wilma. Keep it. Play it. Make your music. <sighs> Oh, that's cute. Daddy gave her a guitar. The guitar. A violin. She trembled. Looked down at the violin in her hands. Her eyes were shining. That... That was the beginning. I wonder when... I wonder when I'll hear another concert. Mr. Drunken. That will always be music, my friend. Even here. <laughs> How long we gotta go now? 104 kilometers left. Holy mackerel, that was a long story, dude. Alright, well, I guess you gotta tell me how you are connected to the artist. Excuse me. Franz Barker, don't you know him? Yes, I know him. And his work. Quite well, as a matter of fact. Although, we've never met. How does that work? You've been stealing his stuff, bro. Oh, oh look, it's him. He's here. He's painting. 
Oh, I see, I see, I see. A few months ago. This copy is coming along nicely. Uh oh. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Market. Greta is showing my latest portrait this evening at the salon. I'm very proud of you. Uh, hi, Marco. May have seen you before. Carry on as if they weren't coming your way. <laughs> I'm a forger. A tough subject, as you'll see. I'm sure you captured him or her admirably. Marco himself and another exhibit. Marco himself and another exhibition. More work for you, Paul, old fella. Thanks for inviting me, Marcus. Uh oh. That's the policeman officer. Hold it right there! Yoikis! <laughs> I love that. That <laughs> oh, that's a great animation. Uh oh. Where am I going? He's right behind me. I need to hide somewhere. Uh. Sanctuary! Uh oh. Stop, Lena! I don't get to actually control it then. Run away! Oh! Sir! You dropped your painting. How can this be? Hold it right there. You keep it. It's yours. Bye. That run cycle is amazing. What is it? What, what is it? It's it's one of mine. Oh. Stop, Weber. This is a misunderstanding. Don't ever take me alive. I've got you now. Oh no. Run, hide in the crowd, hide in the crowd, you can't get me. Halt! You cannot escape. Run, 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 run. You're coming with me, oh my. And I got arrested. I encountered the markets often, but I was always, I was beneath their interest. I was invisible to them, probably because I'm not a very outgoing person. I decided that should change. So he is a street artist. You have the famous paintings of the Turks. Well, something like that, yes. Market's early works weren't as sophisticated as his later portraits. It feels as if he were an overnight sensation. He heard his lion song, dude. I like to think that people around him, his patron Greta Lion, La oh, not again. Lonizak, Lonizak, yeah, close enough. And even in my, in my own small way, helped him evolve so quickly. But you mentioned Marcus have no notice of you. Were you? We were never formally introduced, but I made a pres made my presence felt. He gave him Christmas presents. That's very nice of him. A few weeks ago. Yeah, look like that. I wonder. Is this the right place? Over there, Gustav Klimt. Is that Wilma Dorfel? I cannot be long to set the clerk. Oh, there's Market. That's Franz Ferdinand right there. I don't think so. Oh, there's Market. And there's uh, Gustav Klimt. <laughs> Longzack. The critic. And of course, that's Fraulein Longzack. Everyone knows how. You elf. Oh, what did you call me? Who's that person? A failed artist? Or a beggar? Maybe both. Yes, this is definitely the place. Such a distinguished audience. <sighs> Just like this. I'll stand out like a donkey among racehorses. I need a disguise. Clothes to make the man. Go back. I don't think anyone would mind me borrowing this jacket. Ooh, I slicked my hair back and everything. Oh dear. And you, Matt, you be? Uh, a bang, a painter. Sh I I'm sharing my work with the market over there. Sure you are. Uh, but then again, I don't care. Just so that you know, they'll kick you out if you keep wandering around in these clothes. Uh, still bad, huh? Wearing additional clothes won't help me fit in. An ascot! Hmm, one of these might serve as a sailor's scarf. There. Almost couture. 
Excuse me. I seem to have misplaced my glass. Here you go, man. Here. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Gustav. Yes. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. And you're the same. Uh, Weber. Paul Weber. You know, grills for barbecues. Ah, yes. How do you know Franz Barkert? Yeah, I discovered him. Were you not there when here when I introduced him? I'm afraid my aunt was terribly sick that day. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you know who Market's latest object is? He wouldn't tell me. But we shall see in a few moments, won't we? And please excuse me. Oh, Fraulein Longzack. Good evening, Madame. Don't be too, too uh, formal with her, or too informal with her. Good evening. Do I know you from somewhere? You don't remember me. I'm terribly sorry, but I can't recall your face. Um, I'm sorry. I can't seem to remember where we met either. How weird! Well, if you do, please enlighten me. You got it, Madhu, you got it. No, they're going out. Don't go. I need to find out more about Fraulein Longzack. How can I find out more about Fraulein Longzack? Hello, waiter. Waiter! <sighs> more wine, my now? Uh, no, thank you. M one glass in my limit. For now. You wouldn't happen to know something about the guests here. What would you like to know? Uh, what is Fraulein Longzack like? She is a genius if I ever saw one. Painting is easy. What? But distinguishing art from the mundane. I'm not sure I quite agree. A real from a fake. Is that that hard? Well, if you put it that way, some imitations are indeed quite good. That? You've missed my point entirely. Never mind. Um, can you tell me something interesting about Markert? I'm afraid that the answer to that request is no. Do you often work at events like these? Yes, when I'm not surfing at the cafe. I try to focus on events of cultural significance. Uh, how can you tell what's culturally significant? Oh, you must be joking. <sighs> Just look at the people that are gathered here. It's a creme de la creme of Vienna. The cream of the crop. The last time I saw them all in one place, it was when... I wait a table at her clipped birthday. Oh, interesting. Yes, isn't it? Well, there you go. Clipped birthday, yes. I could tell Miss Greta that I was there and she saw me there. Fraulein Lognazak. I skipped over a bunch of dialogue, I'm sorry. You again? Do you remember where we met? Oh, yes. We met at Gustav's birthday party. Oh, there were so many there. You must excuse my hazy memory. It's no trouble. What did you want to stay to me about? Tell me about... Marco's latest subject. Just between the two of us. Do you know who the latest subject is? You will see soon enough, will you not? Yeah, I suppose so. Nevertheless, from what I hear, he or she was a challenging subject. I can tell you that it's someone he is, was quite familiar with. Oh. Oh. All quite familiar with, you was say. Oh. Most interesting. Was there anything else? Tell me about, uh, uh, what have you been doing lately? Oh, a rather personal question, wouldn't you say? I'm sorry, I just, it's just that I so look forward to your critiques. Aha. Well, was there anything else? No, tell me about, um, I already asked this. I already asked this question. Who will Marco paint next? Who knows? He's a driven person. There could be no doubt about that. It's hard to predict what will next pique his interest. They spell peak right? So I've noticed. I'll leave you be. Excuse me. All right, let's watch this unveiling. Wait, didn't you say, uh, what's her face was here? Uh, Dorful? Yeah, we'll watch the unveiling. I think they're about to start. Keep painting, Margaret. We can make a fortune together. You are not, Nila. I, yes, I sell paintings, yes. <laughs> sell paintings, yes. 
Here is my card. I was always pleased to welcome new patrons. Thanks, buddy. I don't deal legally, but... Yes, and I've sold a couple of yours already, Herr Klimt. I was a bit of a scoundrel. Since none of us know what tomorrow may bring, I may as well confirm what you already suspect. I am a forger. You copy an artist's work and then sell it as an original? Only fine art, understand. There is so much dreck on display these days. I copy only the best. You've copied more than one market, I take it. How could I not? Market was a dream come true. I copied several of his earliest works, then sold them to rich tourists who knew no better. But... You've decided to concentrate on your own inspirations? Inspiration? Shall I list for you the artist whose work was only discovered after they were dead? I'd rather not wait for my rewards. Uh, my mistake. What were you going to say? He outgrew both himself and, unfortunately, me. You weren't able to do his work anymore, huh? Because it was too good, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, please gather round. It is time for the unveiling of Franz's latest work. Who will it be? Any ideas? His subjects are from all classes and all walks of life. It is impossible to know. I heard it is a man. It is said he has affairs with all of his female models. What you mean is you hope he paints ear. <laughs> well, of course, I would be honored. Honored. Oh. oh, I did Grandpa. Yeah. Why is it moving? That's kind of weird. How do you make a moving painting? How do you make it in a proof? You don't approve of the painting? I knew it once. There was no way I could copy that. It kept moving. Uh, Have you seen his most recent paintings? Yes. His work has turned darker of late. As if the light were going out of the world. Or oh, perhaps Grandpa died. 22 kilometers to go! Gentlemen, you have done the impossible. You have taken my mind from our destination. I thank you. Not so fast. You are a journalist. You must have a story to tell. Alas, it is a short one. I wanted to write, but my family was against it. <gasps> I like writing. A baron's son must naturally be in the military. So I couldn't continue writing. I joined the military too. I wish I had a story like one of yours. All four of us is certainly headed for some kind, story of some kind. Although yours will be somewhat different, I think. How do you mean? You, we, uh, we three are enlisted men. Fifth Army here. Well, the same. Fifth Army, yes. Headed for the camp west of the Drin River. But you, you are an officer. Sixth Army, yes. It's not obvious. Not only that, but you boarded the train and it's find a new stat. A military academy, is there? Well, I'm ill-prepared to be a soldier of any kind. Six months training to be a leader of men. I suppose this goes without saying, but I'd rather write. I suppose this goes without saying, but I'd rather write. Write the stories we told you. They are a record of a life we may never see again. Right as you see in the coming weeks, months, someone must write it down so that there will never be another war like it. I think, I think it will all be over soon, don't you? Oh, you poor naive little boy. Welcome to the meat grinder, my friend. No, I don't. But I agree. Write the stories we've told, if you feel they have value. But write, too, of the men you lead. Their stories matter even more. Otto, you're going to the war to support your family. It's why Wilma left home. Now it's my turn to help. But I have no talents to speak of. It doesn't take much talent to point a rifle and pull a trigger. 
More than you might think, young man. I'll tell you this. I'm no coward. I'll be at the front of the charge. Ah, uh, that does not take talent. Ah, <laughs> uh, that does not take talent. Yes, your sister had talent. But she did not just waltz to the top of the stage. It took time and effort to become who she is now. Yes, she did wait and listen. Her music was truthful and aware, but... I gave my... But I gave... <sighs> Excuse me. I gave my word. I'll fight until my last breath if I might, if I must. Playing the hero. What's wrong with that? Uh, I can see yourself working. I can see you working yourself up. Your blood is like fire in your veins. It, yes. Feels like that. Is that wrong? It's not, but you must prepare for what's coming. How did your sister prepare for writing a song? Huh. Well, she went to a cabin. <laughs> she faced her fears head on. She never accepted any help. But you're not alone on the battlefield. You stand between everyone back home and chaos. You must protect Wilma's song. That song will remind you of home, of family, friends, and loved ones. I won't let them down. You will, if you rush headless, heedlessly into enemy fire. You cannot be thoughtless. To be thoughtless is to be blind. Blind? I don't understand. Find the calm deep inside you. You must stay alert, stay aware. Adrenaline will drive you, but never let it ever let blind you. You must stay alert and stay aware. You've been in this situation before. Your story, the men at the inn where, the, where your sister played. Even though your family would have needed the money, you stood by your principles and your family's honor. You didn't let, them, let the anger get to the better of you. I was very tempted. Yet you remained calm. You make it sound so easy. It is not. It's the most difficult thing there is. Wilma's choices seem to have had a great influence on your life. Even watching from the sidelines, I was changed. Will you think about what I've said? Yes, yes I will. Theodore, why did you enlist? Because war is, is madness. <laughs> oh, that makes so much sense. How the war starts... Greed, wealth, or land. The fear of those who are not like us and therefore must mean us harm. Revenge for a zealous bullet. And you think you can stop all that? Probably not. Not by myself, you know. But I thought, I thought to myself, I said to myself, myself, I thought I could at least try. But I know that sounds foolish. Do you mean you have political ambitions? Yeah. Uh, who makes the decisions to make war? Politicians, not soldiers. If more politicians spend time facing an enemy bayonet to bayonet, maybe they would try harder to find another solution. A solution? like you did with the photo when your professor was leaving. Instead of lamenting, you took change into your own hands. Precisely. Precisely. You sound very passionate about this. I, and naive, I suppose, a little bit. A little bit naive. Your sincerity is obvious. Your professor taught you well. I, I wouldn't call her disguising herself sincere. I understand why she did it, though, of course. Do you? But how do you mean? There might have been more truth in that disguise than you can see. I've given a lot of thought. I want to inspire people. 
but I don't know if I can do it. You have the courage. I can see it in you. You see more in me than I do. Naturally. Just like Reknazak. How's that? Wouldn't you call it brave that your professor took over Netta's classes? Why, yes, of course. Extraordinarily so. But how am I brave? You're putting your life on the line for your beliefs, you have passion people respond to, you care. Others will see that in a second. You're putting your life on the line for your beliefs. And what if people listen? How do I know that what I'm proclaiming is what's right? You're a scientist, are you not? What if? What have it? You can't know you're right. But when there's new data, you adapt your theory. Reknazek did this in the duel with Zala, remember? She could have destroyed his career. But something changed in that lecture hall. She acknowledged his efforts and respected him. She respected him. Yes, together they accomplished so much more. I wish I could be as sure as you are. You studied mathematics. You understand odds. Of course. I would bet on you. I'm sure your professor would too. It does sound like something she would do. Based on all you've told us, it seems the changes she brought were not just for her, but for everyone. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, She did not just focus on her own theories. She changed something in others around her through her teaching. Uh, I can do. Paul, tell me, why are you on this train? I'm not interested in... I'm not interested in hearing your platitudes. You helped me. Let me help you. You can't. Why? Tell me why you enlisted. I didn't, Lieutenant. I was drafted. That sucks. We're almost there. Then I must change. My men must see me in uniform. Why, it's a good thing none of these three were in your army. Oh. We're coming to the station. Where's Paul? He left just after you did. I don't think he'll be joining us at the front. He won't, if he gets shot deserting. He must still be on the train, though. I will go and look for him. Oh, boy. He just went one compartment away. You're leaving us? Are you going to try and stop me? <laughs> you never told us, Paul, if you painted your own pictures. Why would I? I'm a forger. You're for a friend, someone you love. Or yourself, not for profit, just for you. No. Why would anyone look at them? I'm a nobody. What makes you think you know me, son of a baron? Uh, we are all questioning ourselves, aren't we? But think about it. Copy Market one last time. He didn't shy away from challenge. But even he didn't dare paint his greatest critic. The train is slowing. Will you sound the alarm? No, it is your decision. We were right. You will make a good leader. I'll do my best. Please leave me now. I have a decision to make. Don't do it, Paul. Don't do it, Paul. Gentlemen, we go to different battles. But I would be proud to have you. But I would be proud to have you in my command. I will do everything in my power not to fail my men. If I fail them, I would be failing you. My name is Albert Vogel. Everyone calls me Bert. Theodore Lechner. Otto Lerfel. In 1914, shortly after the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, men were drafted 
It was beginning of the First World War. Otto went to war to defend his family and his country. But he got to see his parents again. Shortly after his arrival at the camp west of Drina, Paul shot himself in the foot. He eventually returned to Vienna and Frida. Who's Frida? In the four years of war, something inside of Theodore changed. Pursuing a career in politics, he swore to prevent another war at all costs. For a short amount of time, Wilma's music was a huge success. She was the darling of all Vienna. But one day Wilma returned to her hometown. While she never stopped writing music, she took up teaching it. One late autumn after One late autumn afternoon, a woman stepped into Leos Podne Podenis Inn. She sat down silently when asked what she'd like to have. She smiled and answered, A plate of your world-famous dumpling, Cleos. The music that brightened the early years of the 20th century fell silent after the outbreak of war. Franz Barkert must have done something to change his grandfather's mind. He began climbing again after his grandson's success. Franz became the central member, member of a new art movement in Vienna. His unique view of the world inspired many across all disciplines. Franz was drafted one year after the war broke out. In the brief quiet before dawn, he drew the layers of his comrades. In 1918, Gustav Klimt died, marking the end of an era. Emma Rechtesack moved to the United Kingdom, accepting an offer to become lecturer for mathematics at the University of Yorkshire. Throughout the 20th century, many scientific discoveries were credited to Emma's proof of the Rechtesack state. Emma kept writing to Nicole for the rest of her life. Nicole found she didn't hate quite as, quite as many things as she used to. During the war, the University of Vienna was transformed into a military hospital. But lessons continued to be learned whenever students and their teachers could meet. The First World War came to an end in 1918. The total number of military and civilian casualties amounted to more than 38 million lives. didn't even tend to make it a series, but gosh darn it if I didn't do that. 
<sighs> Sorry, I got a little weepy at the end there. Military memories coming back, you know. You, you get that joke with the whole uh, gunfire and the helicopters and the, the, the overlay of it, you know. The, the whole war flashbacks thing. <sighs> kind of is. <laughs> but anyway, there we have it. That is the end of the Lion Song, and I loved it. It's a very, it's it's very story heavy, not very gameplay heavy, but still a lot of fun. Very enjoyable story, and uh, all that. And I definitely recommend it. I know the first episode is free. Everything after that costs money, but it's not too expensive. So if you're interested in playing it yourself and trying to get better stats than I got, you know, go ahead. Um, apart from that, uh, look here at decisions because I didn't have my thing. Yeah, 46% didn't take the money, weren't able to, blah, blah, blah. Also encouraged two of the men. And, of course, that I don't think I had any control over, but, you know. Ah. But, anyway, apart from all that... <sighs> That's going to be it for me for today. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of this series. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go post that like button for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you're more than welcome to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I can bet you as soon as I can. And when I can, if I can, you know all that jazz. And tune in next time for another series, another time. And until then, good night.